How much money should I keep in my bank account is one of the questions that I have been getting asked lately a lot. So uh, that's a question I'm going to address today. Welcome to Taxes Simplified and I'm your host Mindal Babaria with KB Tax Divisor CPAs and I'm going to guide you how much cash to keep in your business or personal bank account while we go through the inflation. Uh, the One of the most recent survey done by CNBC shows that the number one stressor for at least 73% of the Americans is their finances. Um, especially because of the inflation, there are a lot more people who are worried about uh, finances. Um, you know, the, some, the certain things are working out good. However, there are certain things which are still scary. So um, in an ideal situation, look at how much money you need to maintain your lifestyle for a month or a six month period. You can look at the last six months average or you can look for one month average and then you know, multiply it by six months, whichever makes it easy. Again, how much money you need to maintain your current lifestyle. Uh, do account for if you know for sure there are certain expenses that you're expecting in next uh, three to six months, do budget for that. Or if you feel last few months you had uh, spent extra money, but next few months it will be lower, then do account for that as well. Now, it's in an ideal situation, I would say, you should have in hands at least six months of working capital in your hands. If you are a working class person or you are a business owner, uh, you know, who has a steady income cash flow. Now, what if you are a business owner? In case of a business owner, you know, uh, your main net worth or asset besides your house is your business itself. And in that situation, especially if you have employees and certain expenses that you have to pay, certain bills that you have to pay on a recurring basis, I still recommend at least six months of working capital in the bank account. And if your business is struggling and it does not have six months of working capital, then save until you have accumulated six months of working capital. Because we did see how things went sour in 2020 when many businesses canceled out contracts and whatnot and how difficult it was maintaining the payroll and how challenging it is to find the right employees. So if things were to happen you know, worse, like right now we are at about 10% inflation rate. So if, if the things were to happen really bad, then having at least six months of working capital will ensure that you can maintain your payroll so you know make sure that you have that much of account now what to do if you have more cash than um, six months of working capital in that situation I recommend do not keep your money in the bank account I would recommend personally diversify as much as you can what it means diversify in terms of different currencies diversify in terms of uh, other vehicles of investment whether it is real estate stocks private equity um, starting another business whatever we call it per ray dalio when you diversify into 20 to 30 different asset classes you reduce your risk of failure by almost 80 percent plus and that's a huge percentage in the past, when you put all the eggs in one basket, you must have seen your failure rate was very, very high. But now when you diversify your assets into multiple classes, your failure rate, even in the worst economic situation, reduces substantially. I hope these tips are helpful to you. And if you know of any other business owner or individual who is stressed out right now with their finances or things like that, Feel free to share this video with as many people as you can. Thank you.